Hello, welcome back to Silver the Surfer. I'm Silver and welcome back to the show. On this show we're going to do everything foiling and right now we're trying to learn how to dock start. I've uh, been at it for about a week now. I have one prior video to this one where you know I'm giving a good go but flailing all over the place not getting a lot of good pumps out of it reviewed some of the footage and I'm gonna try a couple different things I think I really have to get some good pump off the left side I'm not really doing it and uh, I've got some arthritis issues but uh, we'll we'll work through that uh, before we get started I'd like to say that we are in the unceded ancestral territories of the Squamish Soil Tooth and Musqueam peoples and I give gratitude for being able to live, work, and play on these beautiful lands. It is an overcasty day today. It is about, I'd say, eight degrees, uh, but it's a beautiful day to be out on the water. All right, without further ado, let's get that helmet on. Safety first. If you saw yesterday, I hit my head on the board or the foil a, a couple times and you just want to make sure that you're taking care of your noggin and yourself. Uh, it's always nice to have a neoprene on because it uh, really pads the body as well so you don't get scraped up and bruised. I still do have a few bruises but um, the neoprene really helps. All right so this time I'm gonna stick to the same sort of thoughts that I normally have, which is generating a lot of speed and then trying to land with my left foot on the right spot so I can get that good push. All right, let's do this. Oh, I am on the Armstrong FG, four foot five inch. I've got a 71 inch mast, the lift setup. Uh, the 200 high aspect wing, front wing, and the 32 glide in the back. The 200 high aspect front wing is about 1300 square centimeters. It's a decent size. I'm about uh, 75 kilos, so I think it's about the right size for me. All right, so everything worked out pretty well. I think the problem that I'm always getting at is, is getting those pumps. What I'm trying to think about is getting that back foot pump and then really trying to become weightless and allowing the board to just come up on its own. Because as you pump, the foil will go down and the, the water will cause resistance and want it to to lift and so you have to make your body weightless in a sense to allow the board to come up off the water so i have to keep that in mind all right let's try this again i'm sticking with the three-step takeoff it uh just allows me to have a little bit more control of the board.
I lost a little bit of control trying to get the speed. So it's all about having good speed but maintaining good control. So that time, I think my foot landed right around here on the board. And when you look at where that is, right around here on the board, in relation to the mass, I really want to get my foot a little bit more forward. Because when you push down, you want that weight to really push down and force that nose of the front wing to push into the water on a slight angle to then create lift. So I think it was a little bit too far back. I have to try to think about getting that foot further up on the board. Feeling that a little bit of pain in my left leg doesn't allow me to really push off the left side. further up the board again. Give that a try. I think I landed in a good spot. I just landed a little bit too heavy on the heel.
All right, again, not bad. Just landing, getting a good landing. I'm just not generating that power to push down and get those first initial power pumps. I think that's what you need in order to establish that speed initially. And I just I don't have quite the the uh, the power right now because of uh, I think my brain doesn't want to push because of a little bit of pain in my knee. But I'm complaining too much. We'll just try to make some adjustments. I just have to get low enough, pump it, and really try to make sure that my weight comes off the board to allow the board to rise. Alright, wasn't bad. Gonna rinse and repeat, try to do the same thing, land, and really try to drive that left leg. Get that foil going down, drive it down, and becoming weightless to allow the foil to come back up. I don't know if you guys noticed on my board, I, uh, I put a little tape here all around just because I was banging this section of the board and the, the nose on, on docks and, and what have you and it was causing a, a little bit of cosmetic strain to my beautiful Armstrong board so I put a little bit of tape here to protect it at least until I get better I'm not and then the board's not going into 
hard objects. All right, let's do this. You know, sometimes nothing needs to be said. It's just uh, try doing the same things, and repetition will be uh, will be the answer ultimately. If you just do it enough, uh, your your brain will figure it out eventually. It's just kind of exhausting and frustrating at the same time. But hey, I got to change my perspective. Playing in the water. It's not raining. It's overcast, it's not raining, and I have an able body that allows me to do these, to, to be working on something like this. All right, let's do this again. So the goal is ultimately to become very proficient at dock starting, pumping, and then hopefully I can expand on that in rock start and do beach starts and then just be able to catch wakes off boats and because we don't get a lot of surf around here unless you go on the other side of the island where we're at, we're pretty much uh, uh, the water's pretty calm and uh, if it's windy then you can wing foil but we really don't get those big waves and those big swells that you can in, on uh, on the island so you gotta make do with what you've got
So the encouraging thing is, I'm getting pretty proficient at landing on the board. It's just a matter of getting that those first couple pumps going. I do have an e-foil, so I have been practicing a little bit with the pumping on the e-foil, but it's not quite the same. And when I look at other videos of people pumping, it's quite aggressive. And um, I'm wondering if maybe even when I land on the on the board, I'm I'm already a little bit too low in the water. It makes they always say that it's better to have the board higher up. The foil closer to the water surface makes it pumping a lot easier. Uh, so. I'll have to try to keep the, the board higher up off the water when I land. Okay, that wasn't bad. I mean, I landed okay. Uh, got a couple pumps. I just couldn't get that forward. I feel like just not getting that those pumps to drive the for foil forward. I'm also thinking of maybe moving my mast back even further. It's, it's already on like the last setting at number one. But I'm thinking maybe it'll help if I move it back a little bit more to the to zero pretty much right to the back. But uh, let's give this a couple more goes and see how it, uh, what happens. So again, the, I'm getting better and better at landing on the board. It's, uh, it's just about getting those first couple pumps uh, to propel me forward and higher up the mast.
All right, let's let's give it a try. Let's uh, move the the mast right here, right back to the back, and see if that makes a difference. All right, sorry to keep you waiting. I hope uh, I uh, fast forwarded through that, that section where you're just staring into nothingness, but here you can see that I move my mast right to the back. We're gonna see how, how, uh, how it performs or how I perform. I think that was just me. I just uh, had a bad takeoff. There are some barnacles here on the side, and every now and again, they catch the wing, and it can throw you off a tiny bit while you're uh, launching, and it makes it hard to recover. All right, well, let's try that again.
So I definitely felt something. I felt, I felt like I was getting a little bit more power and forward drive with the mast placed further back. Uh, so we'll give that a go again. So that time I landed with my uh, right foot a little bit too far on the front of the board, caused the nose to sink right away. And it's always uh, uh, just trying to get your foot placed in the exact spot that it's going to allow you to, to find that balance and then be able to drive. I think so much of it is getting your your equipment dialed in and um, I'm hoping that once the equipment gets dialed in it'll make my pumps way more efficient but I think uh, this is all part of the process of tweaking things Okay, I have to keep in mind speed, speed. I gotta get onto it with forward speed. I think, I feel like I'm landing too heavy and the whole thing is sinking right when I land on it, on the board. Gotta try to get that speed going and landing. Uh, so that the foil is still close to the surface. Okay, all right, positive was that I landed on the board and it was still, the foil was still close to the surface. That was the positive. Negative was you never really want to fall the way that I just fell. Luckily I'm wearing neoprene and I was able to catch it, didn't really hurt me, but uh, yeah, that's how people get really hurt is 
if the board is going this way and they're going that way you just have to be careful because that foil is if it breaches that water you could hit your head with it so always make sure you wear a helmet and uh, and uh, safety first okay but let's continue on that I kind of like that so speed keeping that foil close to the surface of the water before I start pumping Okay, the wipeout was, you know, it's pretty spectacular. You're gonna wipe out. That's the way you want to go on your back. Nothing around you. It does not hurt. Looks pretty painful. Doesn't hurt. But the positive out of that was I could, on that pump, I could actually hear the foil going, moving through the water. And if if you're ever pumping and it's quiet outside, you could actually hear kind of a a whooshing kind of sound that's happening under the water and I heard that on that uh, that singular pump that I did before I bailed so magnificently well we're gonna build on that we're gonna do it again and uh, speed keep that foil uh, close to the surface of the water and uh, get that landing and I think uh, this is this is really positive, something that we can build on. So here's the thing, listen to my breath. I'm breathing pretty heavy. Every time I come, I fall in the water, I've gotta, I gotta do a number of strokes. I gotta muscle the board a bit. I gotta push myself out of the water. I'm gonna, it's, it's a good workout. And one of the things that I'm thinking about is I used to go to the gym all the time, five days a week. And I'm just thinking to myself, I, I'm, I'm getting a fantastic workout. I'm getting a full body workout. I'm outdoors and I'm learning a really cool skill that I'm going to be able to, it's going to translate uh, to a lot of different disciplines on the water. I mean, it's going to help with, with just surfing without a foil. It's going to help with my balance for just life uh, in general. I play a number of different sports. I think this is going to help with my hockey, with my ice skating. Of course I play hockey, we're in, we're in Canada here. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is gonna help with everything and just keeping me in shape. And the beauty is, less injuries, because I'm landing in the water. I'm not landing on the ground, I'm not landing on the ice, I'm not landing in hard packed snow or flying into a tree. Uh, there's so many activities around where I live where uh, they're land sports and people people get seriously injured. Obviously, you could still get injured foiling, but 
if you're not traveling at high speeds and you're wearing safety gear, really you're just hitting the water. And even if you do hit your board, uh, it's not a fixed object, so it will, it won't, uh, it won't just uh, uh, break you. <laughs> that like some things like trees or ice or hard ground will do. All right, let's try this. Let's do this again. Okay, not bad. I'm getting the feel of it. I'm just a little bit heel heavy. I'm gonna work on that. But I think we're, uh, we're onto something here. I think that mass placement is good right at the back. I think my speed is good. I think uh, everything is, is uh, getting very close. I just have to work on that balance of that pump. Yeah, so not so good, but we're going to do it again. There's some debris that just sort of washed around here. It uh, doesn't smell so good either. I just tried to clear some of that away. Getting away from some of the basics, which is 
speed and uh, keeping that foil really close to the surface. Because of the dock, I can't put the foil completely under the dock. I'm, I'm holding it far out and it's slightly on an angle. So it's really, it's, it's kind of tricky to get that foil moving perfectly uh, balanced before I jump on. And that's also the tricky part is, is getting that foil moving at speed balanced. In my head, I think pumping has got to be one of the best ways to develop the highest level of balance on a foil. If you can pump, especially from a slow position, especially from an unbalanced position and recover, it means that your body has an impeccable understanding of, of balance and how to move in the water uh, again especially when you're not traveling at speed because when you're traveling at speed it really allows you to recover um, but when when you're really not moving quickly uh, I think that's the hardest part is uh, finding that balance and initiating those first pumps to get uh, get into a rhythm so I've yet to achieve that. A lot of people will say, yeah, once you get those first three pumps, uh, and then you can really start getting into a rhythm. But I've yet to get three really good pumps uh, in, but we'll keep working on it. Again, so much of dock starting, especially as a beginner, is getting the, the board moving, balanced, and then a forward, uh, forward at speed. And uh, I have to remind myself that's the first thing you got to do before you even try jumping onto it. Okay, so this time I'm not going to think about anything else except foil close to the surface 
and balance moving at speed. Okay, it's not bad. I'm just I'm la landing a little bit too much on my heel. I wish I had longer arms. I have really long arms, and I can, because these high aspect wings are really wide, and uh, it's it's difficult to hold the hold the board so that the wing doesn't hit the side of the dock. I'm six feet tall, but I wish my arms were maybe an inch, two inches longer. Anyways, can't change that. Gotta make do with what you've got. Not making excuses. I'll figure it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly yaw it and angle it out a bit, which is what I've been doing so it doesn't hit side of the dock. Okay, so same thing. It's all about getting that foil moving quickly close to the surface of the water. They always say ideally you want to be on the end of a dock so you have an open space. Fortunately we don't have that. It would have been nice if we were at the end of the dock and I didn't have to worry about hitting that hard wooden dock over there. But uh, you no, know, you gotta just make do with what you've got. I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. I'm out on the water. I got this amazing dock here, it's plastic. So it's safe. The water's nice and calm. So good conditions. Good conditions. Okay, so, it wasn't bad. I mean, I'm still landing a little bit heel side. And I'm refraining from trying to pump or save myself because I don't want to get in an awkward position to smash into that wooden dock. 
but I'm not gonna think about going toe side yet. I'm still at that point where I wanna focus on getting that oil moving through the water close to the surface before I start thinking about anything. I think it's really critical getting that foil, that foil moving through the water quickly close to the surface. That gives you the op optimal conditions for jumping and landing on it before you start pumping. Okay, not bad, not bad. Where are we at? We're at 58 minutes. Okay, let's uh, let's try it a couple more times. My knee is getting pretty sore. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure this out before I uh, continue. It's just, I don't think I'm really efficiently pumping because my brain's holding back the knee. Oh. Every now and again I could hear some harbor seals in the Kind of scares me you know one of the reasons why i want to spend more time in the water is, is to conquer my fear of the water i have a bit of a rational fear of the water and uh i know there are animals in the water and fish and all that stuff and you know they, they really don't want anything to do with people but i don't know um just i have this irrational fear of the water and but the more i spend time in the water the it dissipates but I still have it um all right anyways no fear let's do this Not bad, not bad, got a little bit toe side heavy, but still having trouble landing on that board and keeping that foil close to the surface. We'll give it a couple more goes.
Okay. Last try. strength and my breath before I give it one last go for the day. All right. I think that was good. Don't worry about the board. I'm gonna wrap up and I'll pick that up on the way out. I think that was a good day. Move the bat mass to the back. I think that was uh, a plus. And um, we're just gonna build on that. I'm gonna try to um, maybe take a couple days off and rehab this knee, give it some rest. Uh, there's probably some inflammation there as well. So try to give it a couple days and then uh, and then we'll come back ready to go so we got I think we got about three two decent pumps in maybe three uh, we'll start building on that next time we're out here thanks for tuning in hit the smash or smash the like subscribe to the channel we'll see you next time around